Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to this week's reading vlog. This week I'm picking up my ultimate favorite author and it is Katie Armstrong's Personal Demon. I almost whacked myself with it. Okay, so this is basically still the series of The Woman of the Other World. It's continuing. We are continuing with it. <laughs> um, so basically we are following a half demon called Hope Adams and she thrives on chaos, basically. So she's then approached by the Cable, they are like the Mafia but in the supernatural world and they are telling her that she has to infiltrate a very dangerous gang of supernatural. The moral person in her wants to say no but of course being a demon of chaos and thriving on chaos she decides that she's going to tackle this and along the way she meets her ex-boyfriend who just awakens more of the need of chaos. I think it's going to be very good. Let's see how far I can get into this one today. Good morning everyone, happy Tuesday. I didn't make it far into Personal Demon yesterday. I also started It Happened One Summer on audio, mainly because I'm doing another buddy read with some of my friends on Instagram. We have like this romance buddy read going on. So every month we choose what we want to read. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm reading. I am, how far am I in? Somewhere in the 40% in it happened one summer and i'm really enjoying it the banter between what's her name papa i just wanted to say in this vlog for a few minutes i continue to call piper papa i don't know where i got that from but just know that i am aware of my brain glitching there and I forgot the guy's name that that's it's funny he's this morally gray character and he's just entertaining but um yeah i have a feeling that the breakup's going to be one messy breakup i'm there where they are having dinner and they you know just enjoying each other's company so i'm thinking of maybe finishing it today because i have about three hours left of the audio but other than that i don't have a lot of other plans as you can see i'm dressed for the gym after working i'm going to the gym then i have to make food then i have to rush to get myself cleaned up and whatever because I have a meeting I think that's that I'm hoping to make a den into a personal demon today I really hope so because I want to finish it by Friday but after I think personal demon I'm going to start with book series because I'm really in the mood for a good series and I'm maybe thinking of starting Amanda Hawking's duology right here, like a Valkyrie duology. I don't know what I want to do, it's just I'm in a big mood reading mood. <laughs> if that even makes sense but I don't know what to read. I also want to start making a den into the books that I have been buying. I'm currently on a book buying ban. I don't know until when. I think indefinitely for now because <laughs> I don't have a lot of shelf space anymore. It's kind of slowly starting to fill up this side. It's already full on that side. So sorry you just saw my open cupboard but it's fine. Everyone has clothes. <laughs> what I can do I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a shelf on my Goodreads and then do they have numbers on Goodreads? <laughs> because if they do, I would like to put like everything I have on my TBR, then put in a number generator so that it just generates a number of a book that I want to read. So I think that is the plan I want to do. I also want to, to make like Vlogmas type of content. I just need to think of what type of content. I know Christmas is like two months away, but before you blink, Christmas is upon us. I also need to do some Christmas shopping. <laughs> it's just chaotic. It's a chaotic three months. I'm looking forward to the end of this year. But anyway, I'm just going to start cleaning up my room a bit. We'll tackle the books that I really have to read. <laughs> Wednesday. Um, my brain just broke. Wow. I did not make a large dent in Personal Demon yesterday. I think. Hold on, let me just quickly share. I got to page 19. Yeah. But what I did do is I made a dent in Frankenstein. I'm currently at 50% right now. And also, I think I've reached. I might be lying. But I reached 70% of It Happened One Summer. So my thoughts so far on It Happened One Summer. It's it's a cute love story. 
I am somewhat enjoying it, although Piper is not my favorite character, mostly because of, how can I put this, she's very glitz and glam and you know, I don't relate to that kind of person. So every issue she has about the dresses and the, the clothes she wears and the makeup and I'm just like, okay, <laughs> don't really care because it's not my kind of style. But I enjoy the fact that it's like two different sides of the world coming together. Brandon whose name I forgot yesterday, is very sweet um, and he cares, you can see he cares for whoever's in his life. What made me mad <laughs> yesterday when I was listening to the book is he and Piper were walking through the hospital hand in hand. He had a wife but she died about seven years ago and he still wears the wedding ring and whatnot until he met Piper. I think two weeks after he met her he took the ring off and he's pursuing Piper and he says he never told his father-in-law about this. And I'm like, why should you? Your wife's been dead seven years. I think it's time you can move on. And it's quite weird for me that there's a lot of people out there who believe that, you know, once you marry to this person and God forbid something happens to them and all of a sudden you still belong to that family and then they get mad because, you know, uh, you moved on. And I, I, I understand, you know, it, it's a very different situation because I've never been in that situation but I just feel like you don't need to explain yourself to anyone and luckily Mick who is the father-in-law he told Brandon it's been seven years I'm just happy you happy and I was like yeah okay so it's not that bad <laughs> he understands that life moves on and it's sad to say it but life really does move on so yeah like I said, I just think this is going to be one messy hella breakup because that's how romances flow. It's not the greatest book, uh, but if I had to rate it from as far as I am now, I would say it's maybe a three and a half, four stars. We'll see how the ending happens or how the ending goes and then I'll make my final decisions on that. And then with Frankenstein, I am now, if you've read the book, <laughs> where Frankenstein's monster explains what happened to him after he essentially escaped Frankenstein's flat, manor, apartment, whatever they want to call it. I decided to start listening to the audiobook because my brain cannot think anymore. It, it's just too much. So I think if I listen to two chapters a day, I might get through it. It's, it's interesting. And what's quite sad for me with the fact that listening to Frankenstein's monster and explaining how, you know, everyone is scared of him because of his deformities and they think he's a monster and just the way he speaks and he shows that he too, even though he was dead once upon a time, has human emotion and he too feels pain. You know, he's, he's living, living, I would say, with this small family in the countryside and he does a lot for them, but they don't know it's him. And I'm thinking because he, he goes to chop wood, he clears their paths and they think it's a miracle. And I was thinking the moment he appears before them, they're going to freak out, burn him or try and burn him or something. Because I want to know, is the fear of fire of Frankenstein's monster, is it real? Or was it just later brought in because, you know... It's fun. <laughs> How a monster should be afraid of fire type of thing. But I think, think something's going to happen where he is afraid of fire. You sit on a throne of lies. I'm really enjoying it. This is the slowest I've moved through a classic. But I think that is better. Because then you can retain everything and you can sit and you can think about everything. So yeah, that is that. I do want to make a dent in Personal Demon today. Really, I do. It's Wednesday. <laughs> So I'm thinking maybe of getting to half of the book. I don't have a lot planned today. So I think I will be able to do that. It is Wednesday evening now. Uh, so just a quick reading update. I got two chapters further into Franken Frankenstein. Okay. Frankenstein. Not much else to say from what I've said. You know, he's just relaying his story of being in a cottage and how he learned the English language and how he learned to love, essentially, or to care. Actually, we're still making progress through that. And then I'm 81% in It Happened One Summer. And yeah, my thoughts haven't changed. I'm still... Pippa makes me very nervous because she called her stepfather now to come see the, the place where they're staying. And she knows things are going to go south very fast. 
because one of her friends also called her and said she did like a Houdini disappearing act on them and everyone wants to know where she is and everyone wants to know what she's doing and you know all that fake jazz kind of stuff so I'm waiting I'm waiting for crap to hit the fan and then with personal demon I'm now on page 70-ish around there and I'm really liking hope it gives me what is that that movie's name now you see me it's kind of like that vibes but the the difference is the magicians in this book are actually magicians and they've got half demons and they've got sorcerers involved so yeah that is if you like now you see me i think you would like this book as well you can read it as a standalone there's enough to fill you in on what is happening other than that you can just google <laughs> what the essentials is about Kenny Armstrong's Women of the Other World series but there's a romance cooking between Hope and one of the gang members he's so adorable and he's so cute but I just know for a fact that her ex is going to come and he's going to destroy everything because he is on his way to her now So I haven't been updating you at all today, mostly because I was really exhausted. I did do a lot of reading though, so I am I think I'm about 65% in Personal Demon and I'm really enjoying it. The plot twist just came so quickly that um, it baffled me because I didn't think the plot twist was going to come you know, as easily. I also had a few people who I thought were guilty of this whole gang thing and who were essentially involved in the gang thing but also involved in the kidnappings of the gang members and the killing of the gang members who are against the Cortez Cable. It's a whole confusing thing but I think if you read the book you'll understand what I'm trying to say or if you've read the book you'll understand what I'm trying to say. But turns out I might be wrong because the one person who I thought was actually involved because she, she gave me very dodgy vibes. She's not involved. So I was like, okay, so then the leader could be involved. I'm not sure though, although I'm not going to confirm or deny it when I finish reading the book. It's just, it made me think a lot and I was like, you are acting very suspicious. I smell something funny going on. Other than that, I didn't read... Frankenstein today I just I wasn't in the mindset for a very heavy book and also I'm on 81% of it happened one summer and I'm just like I'm kind of feeling like DNFing this book because it's not grabbing me and I don't know maybe I should just because it's 20% it's it's not that bad but <laughs> I just feel like I, I want to be like okay let, let, let's get to the breakup so we can get back together again that's all I'm asking for I think that the book is like 300 pages long just over 300 or 350 around there so it's not a very long book it's not the spanish love deception so it strongly went from going to the the four star to a th low three star i'm going to continue reading i'm aiming to read 75 percent of personal demons tonight i worked out how to read the book in like three days and um yeah I can say I'm really impressed with the progress that I've made because this is the fastest that I've read an almost 400 page book in about three days. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, five minutes. We're going to die. Wait for it? Okay, wait, wait. Hold up. Back up. Hey everyone, so I'm just going to end up this vlog here. I finally finished two of my books, of which I am really happy about. First, let me talk about Kelly Armstrong's 
upside down personal demon. Hello, where are we? <laughs> uh, personal demon, I'm thinking of giving this a five stars. My thoughts on coherent exactly, which is probably why I shouldn't be doing this. But let me just see if I can think this through. <laughs> I give most of Kelly Armstrong's books five stars and this one was no exception. It had action in it, it had romance in it, although it wasn't the entire plot of it. It had murder, mystery, the whole shebang that is usually in Kelly Armstrong's books. That's what was in here and I really enjoyed it. Hope's growth as a half demon, as a chaos demon is just exceptional. The ending, it was quite interesting. I really enjoyed the ending. I kind of figured out some of the plots along the way and some of the bad guys along the way. I was wrong <laughs> in the beginning of it, mostly because I had, you know, funny feels about one character, which turns out that, yeah, some people who are nice aren't always the right people. Giving this a 5 out of 5 stars because it was just... I'm gushing without knowing what to actually say. Uh, but I'll have a full review of it on Goodreads soon. Hopefully I can just get my mind in order. But I really... I just enjoyed it. It was a fast read and it has been natural. It has just everything that I want in a good supernatural book. And then the other book I listened to was It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. I'm still on the fence of how many stars I should give this because the ending was cute but I also expected the ending. The fight was really not great. I don't know, I, I was expecting a bigger fight than what actually happened so when the fight happened I was like, really? you being petty about a situation like this. Luckily, everyone came to terms with what they were doing, but it was still, it was eh. Okay. What I did enjoy though was Papa's growth through the book, from going from a high-rise living girl, being the center of attention and everything, and then turning, turns out that she actually just enjoys being without having to take pictures about everything. And um, that was a nice turn of events for me because growing in the person that you are especially when you get older um is it's really something interesting i'm thinking of giving this book a three stars i don't know if i'm going to read hook line and sinker but i'm assuming hannah and fox i don't know get together they become friends become lovers break up you know that sort of thing but i don't know if i want to read that i'm still busy with frankenstein <laughs> so we have that going on though i haven't touched it in two days yesterday i was just too exhausted to touch anything i guess that's that if you guys enjoyed this vlog please remember to like subscribe comment down below if you've read any of these books or if you would like to read any of these books and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the video next week bye